AcroHipHop.com. It's Cat Israel. As you can see where I'm at right now, one of my favorite places to see Akron, especially if you like chicken. Now, speaking of chicken, we got a very special guest today. You know, it's Boss Man coming from, you know, California, IA. Can you tell the people who you are and what you represent? Uh, Melvin Ellis. I'm the owner of Louisiana Famous Fried Chicken. That's dope, man. I, I appreciate you creating this business for us because, man, this is the best chicken act I got to tell you, man. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you something. Now, we got a couple questions for you, for all the enthusiasts out there. Now, the first question I have is, uh, what's the key to running a successful black business? Well, I, uh, you know, it's a, it's a struggle day in and day out. So it's not one of those things that, you know, there's a magic potion. You know, you got to grind it. You got to work it. And, uh, you know, you just got to, you know, and. It, it's, and it's good to have some prayer too, man. Oh you yeah, know, no, no doubt. Prayer, uh, and uh, you know, you, you know, you work hard. But the most important thing is having a good team. And I'm blessed, man. I mean, I'm truly blessed. I have a great team here. My operation manager is fantastic. His name is Dino Taylor. Fantastic. And the team that we have around him is fantastic. So, you know, that you got to have some good people. You know, no doubt. No shout out to Brother Dino and the crew. Keep up the good work. Um, so when you got in this business, uh, were you thinking about like not just the doing for self? The, was you motivated by other people that did for themselves too, uh, particularly in black business? Well, I think one of the things that I looked at, as I said, you know, it, we always talk about owning and having a business, but the execution of doing it and running is very important to me. I, regardless of what the deal was, I wanted to do it. I want to keep doing it. And at some point in time, you know, I want to get great enough or good enough to where I can share that knowledge with other people. That's a dope answer. Uh, speaking of that answer, I have another question for you. What do you think is the key to running a, a business as a black man and as black people consistently? Well, it's, it's, it's very challenging because one of the things that I learned through this journey is, uh, you know, everybody is not into you succeed. You know, that, 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 that's something you got to be into. You know, but thinking that people are going to say, well, I'm going to help him or whatever, you know, and that's not always the case. So, you know, you, 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 you got to maneuver your way through the obstacles and, uh, you know, try to uh, make sure you continue to move forward upward in terms of, you know, uh, ultimately getting to where you want to be. And... We've been in operation almost four years, but I'm I'm still not where I want to be. You know, I, I'm still not there. You know, I'm working on trying to do it every day. There's always challenges in life and in business, but we just got to keep working. Yeah, that's pretty dope. So, you know, we appreciate you, you know, coming down to do this uh, magical interview with us. You know, keep up the good work. You know, always stay positive. And, you know, keep making that chicken. Well, I'm trying to tell you, good stuff. We want to make sure that we have a superior product that people can embrace day in and day out. No doubt about that. So in saying that, it's Cat Israel, AcroHipHop.com. You see where I'm at? I'm getting hungry. I'm talking about this chicken and stuff. So I'm about to go eat, y'all. We out.